Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is going to be a tour of my bathroom and my office. That's where I keep all of my beauty products except for nail polish that is in another location. But all of my skincare, hair care, makeup, everything is in those two places. This video was supposed to happen months ago and I really dragged my feet on it. Back when I was filming and editing my inventory videos, late December, early January, I was wondering why my videos for this year were so much shorter than my videos from last year. And I realized that it was because in my inventory videos last year, I included like a little tour of where I stored the things for each video. And when I realized that I hadn't been filming that this year, I thought, well, that's okay. I'll do a whole separate video talking about where everything is and I just figured I'll do it in a separate video. And then when those inventory videos were posted in mid-January, many of you guys also noticed that I had omitted the tour of where the stuff is and what it looks like. So I was planning on doing a video just like this towards the end of January and here we are mid-April and I'm finally getting around to it. So I am so sorry. It took me so long to put this together. It is ridiculous. Um, if you have been with me for a while and you know me and we talk, I think you know that, um, I'm kind of a mess, <laughs> but I think, but I feel like I have to let anybody who has never watched me before know that this is not some like fabulous beauty guru tour of a fabulous space. This is real life. This is my real life. It's not pretty. It's messy. It's a little cringy at times. And for those of you guys who like everything perfect and neat, I am so sorry. This is going to be hard for you to watch. I'm just telling you right now, it is, it, it's going to be difficult for you to watch this, but this is, this is the way it is. This is what I'm currently working with. And the important thing is, is that it's less than I was dealing with a year ago, which is amazing because of project panning, because of my low buy, because of the rules that I've set in place that are working, I do have less stuff now than I did a year ago. And hopefully next year there'll be less again. That's the plan. All right, guys, I am done blabbering on about what's to come. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. We're gonna start in the bathroom and then go to the office. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so what you see here is the view that is directly behind me while I'm filming. You will see Hazel's beautiful artwork gracing the walls. I have not taken it down yet. There is one of Ron's up there as well. Ron did that. Um, but this is the hallway that you see behind me when I'm filming. And there's only two rooms back here, my office and the bathroom. So I'm gonna take you to the bathroom first. And um, this is what it looks like. I've, I've mentioned this many times before, but if I was to have company, it would not look like this. All of this would be gone, but because I rarely have, well, in quarantine days, I never have company. And even without quarantine days, I rarely have company. I can spread all of my stuff out and see it all, which is how I'm able to use it all. So basically, this is what's going on here. This sink has three drawers on each side, plus a middle cabinet where I store extra toilet paper uh, and some cleaning products. We do still have a potty chair. Thankfully, nobody uses it anymore, but the kids need to stand on it to brush their teeth. So that's still down there. I cannot wait till they're tall enough that I can get rid of that. But for now, it's still here. So, um, and there's a mirror right there. Hi. So the way I have this divided up is that on the right is all skincare and on the left is makeup and underneath the sink is all makeup. Um, mostly my singles from my Do Japan, my Battleship project, along with some palettes over here and my butter bronzer that doesn't fit anywhere. I also have my body powder right back there that I apply every morning and my favorite comb. I leave it there because uh, normally I have to do Hazel's hair every morning and so it's easy to grab it right there. So over here 
a lot of these things are in projects, but not all of them. I think Hazel just did that. She, she came out of the bathroom and told me she helped me and I didn't know what she meant. She must have meant that. So I do have my dish of bar soap. Um, we stopped using pump liquid hand soap a couple years ago. So we've been using bar soap for quite a while now. I have a hair oil that I put a pump of in my hair every time I wash it. This bottle has lasted me forever. It was in a project last year and I never finished it and I'm still using it. I have my Caress body lotion that's almost gone. That's in my A to Z. I have a detangler that I like to use after I get out of the shower. That's not in a project. I have a dry shampoo. This is the Candy Johnson OGX collaboration. I use that occasionally, probably not as much as I should. I also have a really random body oil that I like to use when my hands are feeling really dry at nighttime. This is my micellar water from Bioderma. I use this after I wash my face to take off whatever mascara I missed and I use every speck of the cotton round before I toss it so I just keep it on top there. I have this um, Urban Decay B6 prep spray. I like to use this before I put on a mask. So anytime I put on a mask that requires your skin to be dampened, I spray my face down with this first and then I put the mask on. There's the kids toothpaste. There's my perfume from the body shop that I'm panning. This is my daytime moisturizer with SPF. It's from Eye and Lip. I got it from 08L for review purposes. It's all right. I like it, but sometimes it leaves my skin feeling a little weird. This is my Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. I use this at nighttime to take my makeup off. I love it. Here is my homemade hand scrub that I like to use on my hands when they're feeling dry. Here is, of course, my Pond's Cold Cream that I put on every night. Right next to that is my Josie Moran Body Butter. That's on the back burner right now until the caress is gone. I have my SK2 Nighttime Moisturizer. And I have this Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I use this morning and night. I have a cup for the kids when they brush their teeth. I have Hazel's lip balm. She picked this out at the store. I have Ron's lip balm. He picked that out at the store. I have these two drunk elephant samples. I've been using these at night lately instead of what I'm supposed to be panning just to get these used up. I was warned by many of you to use these sooner rather than later, so I have been working on these. And I like to combine them together when I put them on at night. This is the B-Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum and the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I put three pumps of each. The pumps are super tiny. But I put three pumps of each in my hand, mix them all up, and put it on my face. And I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it, but that's what I'm doing. This is Hazel's Body Shop Oils of Life that really helps her with her very, very, very dry skin. So I keep this out just for her. I don't use that, or at least I haven't yet. This is my Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops. Um, I'm trying to use this on my neck to help deepen my neck a little bit because it is so much paler than my face, but I've been forgetting to use this even though it's right out here in front. This is my Argan Oil from Physician's Formula that I'm panning. This is my Olay Deep Hydration Serum. This is the serum I apply in the morning. And this is my Proactive Mask that I'm supposed to be panning in A to Z. And this is a solid perfume that I'm also panning from Avon. It's called Tempo. Okay, over here is all makeup. I better move this mirror, it's very glary. Okay, so when I'm putting on makeup, it's not like I'm going necessarily in order down the line. It's just kind of all over the place and I hop around, but I, I know the routine. So 
I follow it very consistently. A lot of these lip products would normally be living in my purse, but since I'm not going anywhere, I moved them back to my counter so that I would start to use them and pull for them more. Here are the primers that I'm using. Here's my setting spray. Here are, back here is my Clinique foundation sample that I'm panning. These are all the products that are in projects. This is my MAC pigment and platinum. This is a very old nail polish that I use to mark packages for progress. This is one of the eyeshadow palettes that's in my panning, panning solitaire pan that palette for this year. More lip products. This is my Stila Sea Siren that's in Project 10 Uses. These are all different things that I could fit into this. Can This is an old candle container and I put all these things in here that could stand up. I have lip products, mascaras, eyeliners. Um, I have my Rodan and Fields eye, eye growth eyelash serum, the Lash Boost serum, a couple of brushes. Um, here are more brushes that I reach for. I also have my Becca Berlin Glow tucked in here. But basically, I just reach for the brushes in there. Up front in this container, I have um, the highlighting papers that I just rolled into the Roulette Pain Collab, my bronzer palette that I'm working on, my green color corrector that I'm working on, my Laura Mercier highlighter, my Winky Lux powder that I'm supposed to be working on but haven't. I have my itty bitty brown eyeliner from Urban Decay. I have my duo from Smashbox. I have my little um, Bare Minerals liquid lipstick in Boss. I have my Urban Decay lip gloss that I'm panning. My Rimmel concealer stick. My ColourPop brow gel. And back here, I have some liquid lipsticks that I pulled after watching an Emily Noel video that was talking about dupes for a Bobbi Brown lipstick that I'm very interested in. So I found whatever dupes she recommended and I pulled them out and put them there. I haven't tried them out yet. Over here, I have some more smaller containers. I have my L'Oreal cream blush, my ColourPop highlighter, and my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I have my Mica eye primer and my Mary, my two Mary Kay eye bases. I have my, oh, I have my Wet n Wild single and brulee, my Sephora single, and my Pan That Palette, and this salty loose powder that's in Project 10 uses. And that's it down here. Like I said, I have all my singles that I can reach for that are in my Do Japan My Battleship. I have this um, Mali uh, face defender. I don't know, it's a mattifier. I have a lip scrub. I have my two color pop palettes. This one is currently in my pan in every palette. This was in pan in every palette, but I wanna expand the pan just a little before I put it away. I have my Pure Go Nude palette, which holds my Baby Pan That palette eyeshadow. This is my little um, magnetic palette that I'm keeping out for now. Right now, I have the black shadow and this concealer in a project. Nothing else is currently in a project, but you never know. And then, and then I have my Natasha Denona palette that's in Pan in Every Palette. My Pat McGrath palette that's in Pan in Every Palette my Makeup Revolution blush palette that's in Pan and Every palette. Right in between there is my Dose of Colors Fruncation palette that is not in a project right now. I pulled it out because I was really inspired to use that reddish um, matte color, but I never did. So I'm keeping it out anyways for a little bit longer to see if uh, I wanna incorporate it into some looks. And then of course on top, I have my Too Faced No Filter Selfie Powder palette. So I know that's a lot. I know some of you guys are going to be completely overwhelmed when you see this, but honestly, 
if I put all this away every day, I wouldn't bother to pull it out. I wouldn't remember to use it. I would forget it wasn't a project. This is the only way that works for me to actually use these products up. And I do think that seeing it all out like this, and you guys know this is just a fraction of all my makeup, is a daily reminder that I have enough. You know, if I put it away and make this all look really neat, I could convince myself that I need more. But when it's all out like this, clearly I do not need more of anything. And this is my reminder every day that I have enough. Um, okay, in the drawers below, there's nothing really in there. I have some extra soaps. I have some face washes and face masks. I have my my husband has a drawer. I have my curling iron and my flat iron down there and my blow dryer. So there's nothing really makeup wise in any of those drawers. Over here is a little standalone cabinet that I think I got at Kmart years ago. And um, it's a mess. It is a total, total mess. Um, my husband has a few things on top that are his. Everything else is mine. Down here below, I do have some towels that I use, like face towels, hand towels, bath towels. In this drawer here, I keep um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, an extra comb, some hair ties for my daughter's hair or my hair, different things like that. And then in here, it's a mess. I have some hair care products, my nail polish remover, my deodorant. Um, nothing really interesting makeup wise. I have a backup conditioner. It's mostly just hair stuff in there and I don't really use any of it. I did give my son a mohawk last week. I shaved his head and I have been using the Pantene mousse on him when I style his hair. So maybe I'll use that up, we'll see, but I'm not using it on me. And down here is um, some Q-tips that I have nowhere to store. My Dr. Dennis Gross peeling pads, a disgusting, I need to get rid of that. Um, here are my notes for my projects. Every project that I'm currently doing is written on a piece of paper and my pan and every palette book is right here. I have some baby shampoo, I have some cleaner for glasses, I have some extra brushes that I don't use very often. Um, this was the deodorant I was using before switching to natural deodorant and it's still pretty full. So I keep it there just in case, but I haven't really used that in a long time. This is my nail polish thinner. This Aquaphor is for Hazel. Some lint rollers some hairsprays and that's about it uh and here are some deluxe all that is hair care everything in there is hair care these are some mac makeup wipes but i have some other makeup wipes here that i'm using first these neutrogena ones and once those are gone i'll start using the mac i only use makeup wipes when i'm doing swatches for like shopping our stash things like that so other than that, I don't use makeup wipes. That's not very pretty. I would love for that to look very different, but it's functional. It stores the stuff and uh, hopefully one day it'll look prettier. We'll see. Okay, here is my jewelry box. I have purged my jewelry significantly over the years, but I do still have quite a bit, so I keep this. I have thought about getting rid of all of it. Um, I don't know. I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. There's my scale. There's my exercise shoes. I like to keep them in here because if I don't, I won't exercise. Um, my toilet paper roll holder fell off the wall a long time ago and I haven't had it fixed yet. So there's my toilet paper. There is my butt wipes for my kids because I like to make sure their butts are clean after they poop. And here is where I keep my empties for my empties videos. There's a toilet, and I have another cabinet above the toilet. There's some sunscreen and sunblock stuff up there, and some room fresheners. Um, in this cabinet here are all of my perfumes. Right there, 
body sprays, perfumes, no, yeah, body sprays, perfumes, roller balls, it's all in here. If, if I'm not panning it, it's in here. That's where I store it all, except for my itty bitty samples. I have those somewhere else. I keep my Q-tips and my cotton pads right there. And here is my shower. And this is all I have in there. I have my face wash and a razor. I have uh, my viral shampoo. That's what I use to keep my hair purple in between visits to the salon. I have another shampoo right there. Uh, candy gumdrops. That was from the holiday collection from Candy Johnson two years ago. The year before, the Christmas before last. My body scrub, a sample of Olay body wash. Uh, another shampoo, I received that from 08L. I tend to alternate between the viral and that one. So I'll do the viral one wash, and then the next time I wash my hair, I do that one, and then I go back to the viral. And I'm going back and forth. Once that's gone, I'll go back to the candy gumdrop one. There's my Olay body wash. There's another shampoo and conditioner from OGX. And that's it for the bathroom. Next is the office. More of Hazel's artwork. So this is kind of a mess. Um, it always is. I'm very comfortable with messes. So if you are the kind of person who is not comfortable with mess, I am so sorry. I am a work in progress and my goal is to have my life more streamlined eventually, but I am so not there yet. Um, but right now on top of my normal mess, I am cleaning out my kids toy room and I have pulled toys that we will be getting rid of, not the Legos. The Legos are for, we're keeping, but all the toys on the floor and around the Legos are toys that we are going to get rid of, but they are all missing at least one piece and I cannot get rid of them until I find that piece it is going to drive me insane but that's the mission we're going through the kids stuff right now while we're home and trying to find the missing pieces and put them all back together it's a process this basket down here holds my empties my makeup empties for this year Here's my nail polish empties from previous years. I was going to send them back to Zoya. I just did a post on Instagram, but I cannot send them back yet with COVID-19. I have my back to Mac empties. So that's just empties in that bin right there. This cabinet right here is where I store all of the skincare products that I'm not currently project panning. It's not entirely full of skincare. That bottom shelf doesn't have anything in there. This second to last shelf is all body lotions. So everything you see on that shelf is a body lotion. Let me lower it down a little bit more so you can see how far back it goes. There is more like face care. I have some backup setting sprays, moisturizers, foot products, hand scrubs, things like that. And then up here are all of my backup of body washes. We're getting down there. Not as much as I used to have, but I still have plenty. So when I run out of something that's in the bathroom, I come here and I get another one. And that's the way it's going. It's going really well. The numbers are going down and I have less products than I used to have. I think last year when I did this video in January of 2019, this woven basket was on the floor because it wouldn't even fit in there and now it fits. So I guess that's a sign of progress. I have some very specific goals like getting to the point where all of my lotions fit in there and that they aren't on the outside, that everything fits in there. That's a very short term goal. My ultimate goal is to eventually just have one backup, but for now I would just like to get all of those lotions that are out there inside the basket. And I would like to condense all of this down to just one shelf so that I could use another shelf for something else. So that would be great. It's going to take a little while, but that's what I'm working towards. 
Eventually, I would like to not have any backup skincare in this room. That would be the long-term goal. And to just have it in the bathroom. Okay, so here are my Alex six drawers. And above it, I have this mountain of stuff precariously balancing. I also have some makeup stuff on top of this cabinet. I have some makeup stuff tucked away. I have a couple of palettes right there. I have that shoebox is full of all my eyeshadow singles. And then in front, I have these six containers full of mostly lip products and one is um, eyeshadow sticks. My brother bought me these containers last summer. He did it without even asking me. He just said, you need more storage. I ordered you some containers, which is so sweet and so kind of him. But I don't know if that system is really working for me. They're taking up a lot of space and um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you that in a minute. In this little box here are the products in my 2020 advent calendar project pan that I haven't rolled yet or haven't used up yet. And then over here is a plastic three drawer system with more makeup palettes. It was originally just face palettes, but the top row has become eyeshadow palettes. And then those two are face palettes. So let's take it from the top. Um, in this drawer right here, I have primers, foundations, and powders. Out of all of the makeup I own, this is a category that's going down the fastest and even that's moving at an unbelievably slow rate, but this is a relatively fast moving category for me. And it's very exciting to see more space being created in these drawers as I finish things. Like I said, it takes forever, but foundations, primers, and powders are in this drawer. Okay, this drawer is highlighters and bronzers. That's a lot of highlighter and bronzer to fill up a whole drawer. I also have some color correctors up here. But yeah, over here are all bronzers. I might have a couple more bronzers. Yeah, I have a couple more bronzers tucked in the back, but basically from here all the way over is all highlighters. That's bananas. Oh, I do have a cream bronzer right here. Yeah, but highlighters and bronzers. This third drawer is all blush. So much blush. I went through a crazy long, long, long and hard blush phase where if a YouTuber recommended a blush, I not only bought that blush, but I bought every shade of blush that that line carried. I couldn't help it. I was kind of in collector mode. It was really crazy, obviously. This is too much. This isn't much of a defense, but I do apply a cream blush and a powder blush every day. What? So It's magical. It's magical. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Hazel's putting blush on her eyes. All right, so this is my blush category. It's a lot. Okay, the next drawer is my smallest eyeshadow palettes. These are duos, trios, quad, quads, um, quints, some six pan palettes, a couple of seven pan palettes, everything small. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Everything small goes up here. Mm. Okay, let's go to the next drawer. Mama, Mama, let the stuff heavy open it. All right, fifth drawer. <gasps> One, two, three, four. All right, uh, my fifth and sixth drawer are all eyeshadow palettes. These drawers are unbelievably full. They are jam packed. I already asked my brother to reinforce one of these drawers because the little 
plywood bottoms are collapsing and he did an amazing job so I'm going to have to ask him to do the rest of the drawers because I'm putting so much weight in them that it cannot hold the weight of all these palettes. But here is one drawer of my eyeshadow palettes. And here is the bottom drawer. Right there. Sorry, I know the sunlight is doing some funky stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna put it back in where you... Good girl. Good job, Hayes. No, we're done with that one. We could close it up. Look at this. Look at Your favorite palette? Yeah, my favorite one. This is yeah. the top of my Alex Six drawers. This tower of drawers, those are Muji drawers. Those are all lip glosses. All my lip glosses are in that tower. I have my magnetic palettes back there <laughs> and an envelope sorter up there with some more palettes. In this bag right here are all lip balms. Mom, I saw my teeth. You saw your teeth? Yeah, my teeth down there. This bag right here are all, Hi. everything in this bag is concealers. Right oh, here yeah. are all of my little perfume samples. Here are um, cream bases. What's in here? More cream bases. Over here are some more sparkly, like topper things that I like to use. Eyeshadow things. These are all of my liquid lipsticks in here. Back there are my Morphe palettes, my e.l.f. 100 pan palette, my Lorac Mega Pro palettes, my Sephora Pro palette, and my um, Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And above that are what few samples I have left after doing um, Turn and Burn for so many years. That's all I have left. Oh man, Hazel's going to town. All right, over here I have one of my Smashbox palettes and my Blood Sugar palette. I keep those right there. Here are all of my, whoa, eyeshadow singles. I keep them in this very large shoe box. That Milani Tantastic is not an eyeshadow, but it does not look good on my face at all, so I use it as an eyeshadow. This is the same pants. This is the same pants that I have. Same pants. Yeah, yeah, that does match your pants. Look at me. Is that what you're doing while I'm filming? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. It. It's a magical. It's yep. magical. It's magical? Yeah. Be gentle with your swatches, okay? Swatches? No, I like them when they put it on top. Okay, over here in this three-drawer bin, I have all my blush and face palettes down here. In this drawer, I have highlighter palettes and more blush palettes. And then up here, I just have an overflow of eyeshadow palettes that no longer fit in my Alex drawers. Okay, and finally on top, I have this notebook here where I keep all of my projects that I've finished. I also keep the notes on my past inventories, I refer to them yearly when I do my new inventories. This is my Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. This is a very old Victoria's Secret powder brush that shoots out like glitter powder. It's like scented glitter powder. I thought I had a need for that at one point in my life. 
Um, these are all of my eyebrow products. These are all mascaras. These are all tinted lip balms. These are all empty. What's in there? Okay, these are all of my eyebrow products. So what's in here? Oh, eye primers. Eye primers are in here. Eyebrow products are in here. These are all empty bags. These are all lip liners. Here are some backup sponges and brushes that are still in boxes. Here are all of my eyeliners in this pink basket right here. And underneath that are all of my loose pigments and powders for eyeshadow. All right, I just realized I had forgotten to talk about these. In this bin are all of my lipstick like crayons and pencils. Um, and one of these is, here we go. This one is eyeshadow sticks, eyeshadow pencils. And these four here are all of my bullet lipsticks. So that's a lot. Um, I tried to organize them by color family. So like one basket is all, so like one of these is all pinky nudes. One is more peachy, like nude colors. One is, you know, pinks, one is reds. One is all bold colors. I don't know how good of a job I did with organizing. I tried, um, but those are all lipsticks in those four containers and then eyeshadow sticks and lipstick pencils or crayons. All right, guys, that is it for the tour of my bathroom and my office. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm a work in progress. Uh, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. What's on your underwear? Are you bleeding? Slime. Where did you find slime? I found it in my LL case. Oh, where is the slime at? Okay, I'm still filming. Take that out, okay? One. Did you see red slime somewhere? Mm -hmm. Is it on the rug or anything, or did she put it all away? Yeah, she put it all away. Okay. Yeah, when we opened it upstairs, we cut away. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, what? I'm still no, Do I'm still Ellie, I'm now. still filming. What are these? My blush. What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Why do you have these? <laughs> Get out of me! <laughs> All right, can I finish filming, please? I want to hang out with you. I know you want to play. I'm, okay. I'm gonna hang out with you. Uh, you wanna hang out with me? Alright, I just wanna finish filming though. <laughs> you wanna play with that blush? Okay, here, step back here and play with it. Take a step back. It does nothing. How to do something like this? Yeah. Alright, put that back in for me. I want you to put on more. Okay, which one more? We're going to open the next drawer. Uh, this one. Okay, careful this, with that. Is that lipstick? No, it's more. It's all blush. It's all blush? Mm hmm I want this one. The all nation blush. This is Hazel's Inheritance. Okay, that's enough swatching. Swatching? Swatching. All right. Thank you. Ooh, it's raspberry. What? I'll help you with that in a minute, okay? Okay. Do you want smell? I can smell it from up here. It smells good, huh? It smells good to me. All right, take it easy. Goodness. <laughs> I right. didn't ruin any. Yeah, you went a little crazy there. Yeah. Look at yourself in the mirror.
It's a dose buckwee. What about this one? Right on my forehead. Still play when we put stuff on our forehead. What? Look at the top. Yeah. There's a cat. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna close it up. I like all these palettes. Yeah, me too. Honey. What's a gingerbread man one? Oh, you you remember the gingerbread man, huh? Oh, okay, um, we're gonna keep moving. This is the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I almost look like a girl. You almost look like a girl. All right, you need to stop. I'm almost done. No, you're done. No, I'm not. No, you're done. Look no. at me. Oh my goodness. Say cheese. Cheese.